Hi, I'm Destiny, and today we're going to talk about pass by reference versus pass by value. So, what pass by reference is, is passing in a copy of some value. So, I'm going to say an integer, it could be some type of object, or it could be a string, and using that in a function call, and that allows that value to be changed. It can be altered, but pass by value. Um, you will pass in this data type or just pass in this data into a function and you can use the data as much as you need to or as you please and it won't be changed. And so just saying it like that, sometimes it doesn't stick in my brain. So the, so what helped me understand the difference between the two was thinking of Google Docs and how if I create a Google Doc and I give someone edit permissions, then they will be able to see all the information on the Google Doc and change it and so it will be returned to me altered but if it is passed by value um, I will share this Google Doc with someone and it will be unedited they will not be allowed to edit it so for this example I want to simulate a Google Doc so I'm going to start by creating a quick struct for a Google Doc we're going to say Google Docs have um, a creator uh, I can't spell it and they also have a body so what information is on this document I want to create two functions one um, I will call it edit yes so we pass in a Google Doc by reference and this will be share dot body um, plus equals let's do that new information <clears throat> and so now I'm going to make another function which is called edit no so it there are no permissions on it you cannot edit this document so um, I should have just copied and pasted but that's all right it'll be the same thing new information period okay so I'm going to head over to main and I'm going to declare this Google Doc object and I will start adding the information. So we're going to say the creator, um, I guess it'll be me, and then the body will be I like cats and jazz. Should have just said boots and cats. Okay, so let's see out or print um, what the body is before we pass it into our edit function. And then we're going to edit it. Oh, wait, let's pass in the whole document. Um, and I'm going to print it too so you can see the before and after. Um, oh, you know what? Semicolon. So before the edit function, we have I like cats. After the edit function, we have I like cats and jazz new information. So um, I'm going to go up here to, mm, I'll create a second doc. Two, and we're gonna have two dot creator. Hey is going to be my cat <laughs> and two dot body is going to be boots and cats so now let's see out or print the information before passing into the function and then we're going to have it called on edit no and so edit no we're going to pass in two which is the name of my cat's document and then we're going to to dot body and line. Okay, now let's run that. So we have boots and cats, and then we have boots and cats. There was no information added. And then we have I like cats and jazz, and then we have I like cats and jazz new information. And that's virtually the difference between pass by reference and pass by value.